Coach Meyer and the Buckeyes pulled out all the stops for the 15 visiting recruits in the Buckeye faithful with uniforms honoring the undefeated 1916 Buckeyes. The shoe was alive and ready for the Cornhuskers from Nebraska. And so was the defense, as number five McMillan and number two Lattimore tipped the first pass of the game, and Webb returned it for six. Armstrong completed to Stanley Morgan Jr. for 26 yards. Then they made it to the Buckeye two-yard line, where the D stood strong and forced the Nebraska Cornhuskers to settle for their only three points of the game. Quarterback JT Barrett led the offense onto the field for the first time with just under eight minutes left in the first and hit Wilson for 22 on third and 20. Escaping to the left, Barrett hit Terry McLaurin for another opening drive touchdown. Armstrong hit Jordan Westerkamp for 32, then attacked Lattimore deep down the sideline, but came up empty. Running back Mike Weber capped off a 9-play, 83-yard drive with this 23-yard carry for the score. <laughs> Following a third and out, Wilson may have lost his return duties with another fumble on a punt. Just a few plays later, Nebraska quarterback Tommy Armstrong was knocked unconscious after hitting his head on the turf. Armstrong gave a thumbs up, signaling he was fine. Later in the game, Armstrong returned to the field after a brief hospital visit to support his team. Just before half, Meyer dug into his old Florida playbook with this JT jump pass to Samuel and found an open Samuel on the first play of the second half for a 75-yard touchdown pass. JT then hit Noah Brown in the front of the end zone, capping off a 290-yard four-score performance. The final score, Ohio State 62, Nebraska 3, making Ohio State 8-1 on the season and Nebraska 7-2. Nobody expected this big of a blowout in a top 10 matchup as Ohio State completely dominated both sides of the ball as the offense possessed the ball for 37 minutes and 18 seconds, amassing 590 total yards of offense. Finally hit some downtown shots too and to Curtis, and Curtis was outstanding. And he's very healthy right now, and, and uh, I mean, it's, he's, a, he's a piece of the puzzle. It's a giant piece of the puzzle. But this week's Holy Buckeye player of the game, number four, Curtis Samuel. Samuel had eight receptions for 137 yards and added 41 on the ground and two touchdowns. Reporting for Buckeye TV, I'm Joshua State. November 11th, Veterans Day, a day that we remember those who have served and sacrificed their lives for the freedoms we enjoy today. In September, Ohio State installed one black seat in the north end of the stadium, inscribed POW MIA, and this seat will remain unused until all service members held prisoner of war or missing in action are brought home. During the Nebraska game, the Ohio State football team recognized 25 of the 1,500 student veterans currently enrolled at the university. Ohio State's honoring the veterans because Ohio State was, was just named number one veteran school, uh, related school in the country. So it's really great that they're honoring the veterans. They're showing they care, and they're also giving uh, veterans a, a place to come back to when they're done with their service, and they have a family to come home to. It's really great that they're doing this stuff. Remember to thank a veteran for the sacrifices he or she may have made for the freedoms we enjoy today. With Buckeye TV, I'm Joshua Stone.